Hi, Andreas. It's very nice to see that you have these new essays for us. Great job. Let's take a look at what you did here. Um, it would really be helpful if you included the chart or diagram in your response. It helps uh, me in a lot of different ways. So just try to include that if you have more essays coming to us. Let's see what you did, though. The figure shows the percentage of crops that were produced D in France in the year 2017. The main crop harvested that year is cotton, well, was cotton, with a 34.4% of the total. I wouldn't even have written being here. You don't need it. Okay, so it should just be almost double the, um, okay, almost double the figure for barley production, or almost double that of barley production and nearly 10 times more than the amount of rice okay so the those are some grammatical changes you have to make in order to make these sorts of comparisons the proportion of the production of three of three different crops is very similar approximately near 20 percent you don't need the two or the a corresponding to barley wheat and sugar Okay, let's see if we can change that around. Um, let's see, the proportion of the production of three different crops. You know what, you could have made this so much simpler. You could have said the proportion of the production of barley, wheat, and sugar were uh, very similar with approximately 20, 18, and 20... Uh, with approximately 18, 20.4, and 21.9% respectively. It just sounds a lot cleaner that way, no? Okay, on the other hand, both percentages of production of rice and corn, no comma necessary, are less than 6%, you don't need the A, of the total amount that was cultivated with a D here in France in the mentioned year. In summary, the principal products presented in the pie chart, no comma, are cotton and sugar, reaching more than a half of the total crops that year, whereas corn is the vegetable spelling, please, with the lowest level of production in France in the year 2017. Let's see. Okay, it's fine. Um, like I said, it would have been really helpful if you had included the diagram so that I could see that you included everything um, you needed to, and I could check the accuracy of your figures and so forth. Uh, keep it in mind for your further essays, all right? Um, it's a little short. Um, I don't. I didn't do a word count. I am curious as to how many words this actually is. Um, and that's about it. So, like I said, try to include the diagram. This way, I could have told you, you know, oh, you should have included this, or oh, you could have phrased it like this, and I could see how you um, covered everything. Okay, let's take a look at your task two. All right, here it is. Clearly, today's careers are not the same as yesterday's, apostrophe S. Today's careers compared to yesterday's. So you have to have that apostrophe S here. Generations ago, people used to be hired by a company and developed their entire career there. People, their career. Now, I think workers, most of the time, are looking for new professional challenges, are looking for new professional challenges, so I agree with the second idea of the statement, thinking that every person should work at least in two different jobs through their lives. Okay, so um, I want to rephrase this if we can, please, okay? Let's see. You're referring to what the prompt said, but it's not really appropriate to do that. You need to actually go to the trouble of writing what the second viewpoint is. All right, so let's try doing that. Now, uh, workers, most of the time, are looking for new professional challenges, uh, therefore switching jobs multiple times in the career. Um, I support this change as I believe that every person should work in at least two different jobs throughout their lives. In this essay, it will be explained why. All right, that's fine. Okay, but you can see how we needed to change that up a little bit. The first reason to support that idea, no comma, is the aspiration of the human being to move up the ladder. Which ladder? I think you mean the career ladder. Okay? 
Of course, not all people are the same. No, the. But in general, recognition and promotions keep the motivation of workers and inspire them to do a better job. No, the. For example, a person that is a specialist in a subject, not a theme, wrong word, and has worked many years in that area, could use his knowledge to teach and inform, oh, form, like, mold maybe you mean like mold other workers and can handle hmm so has one could use his knowledge to do this to do this and handle more responsibility so again i took some words out in order to make it grammatically accurate this is not only a good step for his personal development but it is also great for the organization where he works why you can't just make a statement like that, but you actually have to tell me why. It's not enough to just say it's great, but you have to explain how it's great. How does it help? Who benefits and why? Okay? In addition, people who have worked in different jobs, no comma, have learned several skills depending on the position they have fulfilled. That makes them more able to adapt to different environments and situations, no comma, in a more successful way than a person who has worked for a long time in the same job, confronting repeatedly the same problems. Give me a for example here. Okay, so I mean that for example could be anything like, uh, for example, if you, uh, I don't know, work in an office dealing with accounts and you um, run across a problem, if you have the benefit of working for different companies, you will have worked with different people, you will have experienced different viewpoints, you will have learned different methods, etc, etc, etc. Okay, so you have to give an example. You can't just throw out an idea like this and then not support it. And then, of course, you have to round off the sentence uh, with some sort of conclusive statement which links it back to the original sentence. In conclusion, my personal thoughts lead me to believe that it, you're missing an it here, is much better for a professional career to be, it, mm, no, it is better for a professional, no career, no comma, to be able to work in plenty of kinds of jobs throughout life than to always be employed in the same position. That is because it gives you more tools, and I don't know what this is. I have no idea. Abilities, maybe, probably, to improve your competences and have a better and have better performance at work. No A. <coughs> okay, so um, the ideas that you came up with are fine, but in terms of your structure and in terms of your development, you ran into some problems. Okay. Um, so for me, task response here needs to be improved. You need to extend your answers, give support. Um, that to me was the biggest problem. Uh, and like I said, this was definitely underdeveloped. Uh, let's see. So now what you need to do is correct these. Correct these essays uh, based on what you heard in this video correction. Add to your error correction list and then send everything back to us with your next set of essays, okay? here. We're waiting to see what you write next, so good luck with your next essays.